Hey guys, this is a Survival Guy from CleverSurvivalist.com and uh, today I wanted to show you how to make a paracord belt. Um, so I'm going to take you guys to the little table that I normally do all my little hands-on stuff and show you how to braid a paracord belt. I want you to notice that this paracord belt is too wide so um, and, and, and I'll explain to you why I do it that way here in just a minute. But uh, for now, let's go over to the table so I can show you guys how I would braid this belt and some uh, lessons learned. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to make this belt. Um, if you can see here, you can see how the webbing looks. Alright, it's not very, not very detailed, not very uh, hard to make. Um, it's, it's actually a really simple way of making something. And it's not that... It's not that I can't, you know, make something a little more complex. This is a bracelet that I made. Um, but what I found for like a belt or something like that, and even for bracelets, um, if you try to take this apart, it's actually going to be extremely difficult and you're going to have to unwind everything piece by piece. And then you no longer have that belt or uh, bracelet um, you know, and you don't have the extra paracord except for in your pocket or wherever you put it. Alright, so let me show you how I would go about making the belt. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tip of the paracord here. Alright, you can see it. You can see the little fibers in it. And these are little fibers that um, are really good for making uh, snares and fishing line and maybe I'll show you guys that here in another video all right but we want to uh, melt the end of the paracord Alright, now that the end of the paracord is melted, this part's actually pretty easy. First thing you're going to do, you're going to make a loop. You're going to push this through. Just like that. Basic slip knot. Okay? Now the rest of it is actually really easy. Alright, you're going to take the long end, push it through the slip knot, and pull. Alright, bring that loop down a little bit, push it through the slip knot, and pull. Push it through the slip knot, tighten it, push it through the, the little loop, tighten it, push it through the loop again, and tighten it. Alright, so I'm going to get a couple more of these done. And I will show you. How easy it can be. Alright, that is the basic braid for the belt. Okay, and then when you're at the end. You cut it off. You push the cable, th the, the paracord through. And just tighten it up and it will tighten on itself. So you'll cut it off here. And you'll pull it through and tighten and it'll be done you can do this for necklaces you can do this for bracelets and belts all right guys so here's the belt and you can see just how long this belt is all right um the reason why i made it this long is because whenever you undo this belt because uh, you want to use you know 30 40 foot of paracord well then you need the other strand available in order to, um, you know, still have a belt uh, to hold up all your stuff, you know, your survival knife and everything else, uh, all your little kits and stuff that might be on your belt out in the wilderness. So um, let me show you how I'm going to tie this off and make a buckle out of it. All right, I'm going to exaggerate the way that I'm tying this so that you guys can see how to. All right, so you're going to make a big loop, all right, and then you're just going to push this through the loop 
just like that. And then in the loop, you're going to take your carabiner. Alright, so now you got your carabiner tied. And you can move the belt around your waist. And you can hook your carabiner to it. And as you can see, it's very tight. Um, it, it, it holds really well. And the reason why I had my survival knife and my gun on my hip was just so that you guys could see that it could actually hold quite a bit of weight. Uh, now let me show you how to undo this belt. All right, let me take the carabiner off. Undo the big knot that I made. All right, and this is the reason why I braided it this way. Instead of making it like you see in all the gun and knife shows and stuff, everybody wants to make the really elaborate one like the bracelet here, um, and, and that's unnecessary. Um, if you take this out, the, the very last little knot that I showed you guys to make, you take that out and you just pull, and the whole belt comes out, okay? See right there, and then I could do that with the rest of the belt. Now, if I pull half of this belt worth of cord off of it, I've still got a ton of belt left. Okay, so that's one tool that I think that everybody should have at a minimum in their bug out bag. Um, you know, this is a good way to hold all your paracord uh, so that it doesn't get tangled up on something. And um, it's just a real, real handy thing to have. Um, you can use this for, like I said, you can use it for a necklace, you can use it to make a, like a double or triple bracelet, um, and, and, and I think that this is a much better option in a survival scenario than the bracelets that you're going to be able to buy from the gun and knife shows. Alright, so um, I just want you guys to remember to uh, think and survive. Uh, I'll see you guys later. This is Survival Guy signing out.